Good morning, travelers from our beautiful desert campsite here in Namibia. There's Victoria. She's just finishing packing up the car. And trying to find the coffee. <laughs> so I have to go help her find the coffee because we're going to make some coffee before we're heading home to Sosuble. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I'm probably wrong. But it's this amazing site in the desert with these dunes and this large pipe that used to be, I think, some sort of water source. And there's some really cool looking dead trees in there. So that's what we'll be checking out today. But first, let's get some coffee made and get out on the road. Found the coffee. the car right in front of us got stuck right at the beginning so we just like backed up and said it's better for them to just give us a ride and now we made it so time to explore We're about ready to head back to the parking lot to check out the, so there's two parking lots. We parked at the one where there's a shuttle to take you out here so you don't get stuck in the sand. And the, the one all the way out here is where we're going back to because there's another section similar to this that we want to check out. But first, we're going to give this a try. We're going to attempt to go up the side of this dune. We saw some other people trying it and we thought, eh, well, let's give it a shot. made it to Sosufle. Yes, yeah, so the main one and it's called Big Mama. The main dune here, main this dune, one right yeah. over here. We were given the option to either stay in the car and take photos or come down and walk. Um, the reason why we chose to walk even though we're exhausted is because in this area there used to be a lot of water and they haven't had any since 2011. And this year in March they got some rain so they finally got some water like in over a decade. So I so think first it's in a decade. And if I'm not mistaken, it looks like there's animals down by the water. some progress on our drive. We just passed the tiny little town of Salter. It's super small. Exactly as described online, uh, there's just like a tiny country store and a couple of accommodations and that's pretty much it. But the scenery has been absolutely beautiful on this drive. I mean, just check this out. It just goes on. Desert for ages. So, so we're loving it. Victoria's on the driving shift now. We are just trying to make some time so we can make it to Swap Cup one before it's too dark and hopefully find our hotel. Hopefully, this will be the first of these trips that we don't drive at night. One bite, hers is one bite left. So. I had to eat it fast. But sunset is coming. It is our next morning here in Swapkutland and there is the view outside for us. As you can see, we have the beach just across from our hotel. 
But today we are heading back out into the desert to try out some sandboarding and the company that we're going with is about to pick us up so we gotta head down to the lobby to head out. So we've got all our gear and we're hiking to the top of the dune to go sandboarding. So we just wrapped up sandboarding and got back to Swapkutman. Yes, uh, we walked to a campsite that we just found that is right next to the ocean. So we just, that's where we're staying tonight. And now we're just gonna explore up like the little city area and see what souvenirs we can take home. <laughs> <laughs> So, as you can see, it is now beginning to set, the sun is, and we are off to dinner. Um, so this is the day after our anniversary, but we are celebrating as our anniversary dinner, as we were kind of in the middle of nowhere <laughs> yesterday. And we have an awesome restaurant that was recommended by our sandboard instructor, yes. and it has views over the ocean and sunset, because the sun sets over there. Uh, so hopefully we are actually seated in the area with the windows, but if not, I'm sure it'll still be good. The food is supposed to be really, really excellent. We're getting back to our campsite. It was absolutely amazing. I highly recommend the uh, like the fish of the day. Like normally they have the local fish and the calamari, and the dessert was absolutely amazing. And right now I hope you really enjoy like following our adventures today. So just make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe, and we will see you all in our next cape. Bye everyone. <laughs>